that I find who can't even, who won't even glance at Star Trek, even though they know about it, they understand, the, you know, the history of it, and they understand, it, but they can't appreciate it. Most people I find who can't appreciate Star Trek are ignorant. That's true. Are really ignorant. It's like they don't care. They think it's stupid. They think it doesn't make people, sense. People that's, not, that's not in this, I mean, like but, Star but, Trek. But, but I'm not that, watching that. Why? Have you ever seen it before? No. But I'll tell you one thing that, that, that I don't get. I don't get people that are so involved in the Star Trek and Star Wars and comic books that they know nothing else. Like they're not, in, they don't know about politics. I mean, that's just all they are. Yeah, you, you have know, to, they, 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 it's, it's great to escape to the fantasy, but don't forget that there's actual reality real in the world. world. Real, you know, I love world. Star Trek, I love Star Wars, but you're walking around with the Captain Kirk uniform day in and day out and don't understand the value of a real job and do you need to... If you don't know anything about politics, that really gets our... That, that really... It didn't have an opinion on it. How are you going to have an opinion on it you don't know anything about I know. It? Because I'm not saying that you have to be, like, you know, consistently watching CNN or Fox News or whatever, but, I mean, if you're... I mean, because if you're really sold out into Star Wars, Star Trek, and, or comic books, then you can understand that, that there's politics throughout all those different series. Right. So that's telling me that you're so grasped into that, but you won't even look or glance at what's going on in well, the world. Well, not just talking about geeks, whatever, just people who, who just or out there and just don't, like, follow politics. That is, it's like, this is our world. These are serious issues. Yeah. And maybe when you were 12, you wanted to run and skip and hop and jump or whatever you do when you're 12. But if you're an adult, y you should know things. Right. <laughs> right. So, you know... Just, you know, take a break so from the fantasy and right. come to reality every so, once So that's again. one thing that's unattractive when you're just so absorbed into it that, that you are aware of nothing else that's around you. What else do we find attractive about geeks? They, I like that they love what they love. And they are unashamed about it. Yeah. yeah, don't be proud. I mean, don't be... <laughs> don't be proud! <laughs> I, mean, I mean, don't be ashamed. That's be proud I mean. of your geekdom. It's yeah, be sexy. proud of it. You know, don't be ashamed of it. People I don't want to... I hate no it. passion are so boring. Right. I hate it when, like, I've known somebody for, like, 20, 10 years, and I just now find out that they are into comic books. It's like, why weren't you saying something It's like you before? poser. Are you just saying that? Because you know what I mean. It's like, okay, so like, you know, be proud of, you know, being a geek, but all you closet geeks is so unattractive to me. It's Very like, come on. Because I will, if you, within meeting me, within like, first 20 minutes of meeting, you will find out that I have I'm the easiest like, person to shop for among my friends, because it's like Christmas or something like there's a Spider-Man shirt. Let's get that for Christina. Right. Right. Yeah. So, so be proud. I, I like what, what's sexy is a geek that are proud of being geeks. That's gorgeous. That's hot. It is. But you know, same thing, opposite. You know, it's, I mean, well, the being ashamed of it. But don't be so overbearing about it. I love talking about. But that's Trek any. But that's anybody with anything. Because well, any hobby, it is. Because that's somebody. Somebody can like baseball. Love playing basketball. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Like you love playing basketball. You go a lot. You know. But then if you just constantly tell me about basketball, I mean, I'll watch a game. What you do? I mean, I like watching basketball. I like going to the games. Right. Yeah, I like going to basketball games and stuff like that. But. When it's just like all it is is just basketball, basketball, basketball. It's just like, dude, dude, dude. Can, can we talk about like, like it's raining outside? Let's talk about the weather, dog. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, I love Star Trek comic books. I could possibly talk about um, them every day. Which, mm -hmm. if I don't talk about them a little bit every day, I probably talk about them a little bit every, every other day. Every other day. Right. But I'm not gonna talk about it all day, and I don't like having the same conversation over and over and, and over again. And so. I don't like discussing it with people that's not into it because then then, then that's just not fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people. Here's a hint, guys. If you're talking to a girl and she starts looking the other looking way, way she's while you're not, talking to you, she's not into it. Don't, she's not into switch it. The subject. Change the subject. Compliment her on her shoes. One thing about geeks, don't cut. That's just weird. Just out of the blue, compliment her on her shoes. Just like, oh, you look really nice. Oh, I like your shoes. The shoes they want to come off as, you know, kind of gay to you. No. Okay. Well, don't that's... compliment my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I always wear cute shoes. That's. Plus for me. Let me think. Forget my thought. <laughs> oh, that's so difficult. <laughs> What, what, what were you saying? I was going to say that a lot of geeks have really great humor. 
A lot of them are really yeah. funny. Yes, they are. They are hilarious. Geeks are... F- I mean, because, like, think about it. If you're reading... Like, because if, if, if one of you... If you're... If comic books is a, a great hobby of yours... I mean, you're reading good humor all the time. Yeah, like, yeah. if you're reading Spider-Man, even even some Superman stuff in there, I mean, uh-huh. you know, there's you're reading good good humor all the time. Right. So you, I mean, you should have a good sense of humor, at least know what's funny. Right. But a lot of them have, uh, a lot of them are really funny. I love just talking to a lot of the writers going to comic book conventions. Uh-huh. A lot of them just have me on the floor. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know. Like our friend Doug, who wrote Arsenic Lullaby. Yeah, he is so funny. He is the funniest person in the world to me. Doug is. Yeah. Doug is Guys, if fun- you can make a girl laugh even when she doesn't feel like it, that is like Yeah. You know You you, you got something there. Yeah. yeah. You got the hook in her, but I'm not saying you actually that's all you need to pull her in. But that's a really good that's hook. That's a really good hook in being yeah. able to make her laugh. Because if you can make her laugh like if you can make me laugh when I'm PMSing, that's just like like, your name could possibly go on the list of potentials. Yeah, because, you know, like, I, I can come around you when I'm not feeling good. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So if you don't even get a girlfriend, you at least get a friend, you know. They probably don't want that, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, work on it. But on the, other thing, on the other hand, don't be too cheesy. You know, if you say a joke and nobody Snorting laughs. Snorting is not cool. Don't yeah. snort. You know, if you say a joke and nobody laughs, don't say a similar joke. <laughs> well, don't repeat it and be like, you get it? <laughs> you can tune a fish. <laughs> but you can't do- I said it wrong. <laughs> you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. Yeah, cal- calm down. Yeah. I love sarcasm because I'm, I'm sarcastic myself. You, you, can't, you can't go wrong with sarcasm unless somebody's really sensitive and they don't. And they're kind oh, of really airheaded, yeah. And they don't understand. Like, what? Are you serious? No, <laughs> <I'm> not. <laughs> and then, and, and then if the girl, or you could just go. Get, so yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> and just confuse them further. <laughs> but you know what? If a girl doesn't get the sarcasm, then you really shouldn't be with her because she's either not smart or she's too sensitive. How does this turn into like a, a dating tip thing? I don't know. We just say what we do and don't like. Yeah, that's true. I like it when uh, guys wear, you know, like Star Trek shirts and you know Spider Man shirts and you know. Because it is like, ooh, it's where did like, you get that? oh my goodness! And well, one, if the shirt's really cool, that you know catches my eye. But another thing is, if I yeah, see a guy like, wearing that like shirt, if you're walking around in an actual like Star Trek uniform, not cool. Not That's cool. not cool. Yeah, but like, but if you got like a cool Star Trek T-shirt, you know, with just like the the symbol or something, or even if you got a spot Spider- on there, you know, posted. Like, then it's cool because it's like. Oh my goodness! I should, you know, I can like talk to this guy because I know that we have one thing. Like, or maybe common. you could like liven up your style a little bit. Some people wear suit jackets with t-shirts. Sometimes, but if you're it's walking like, around with a thing. belt with a lightsaber in it, it's like, I was like, I might say something, but <laughs> and I might have a little chuckle going on, <laughs> but I'm not laughing with you. <laughs> you know. So, but, you but know like what? having it, but I mean, yeah, the, but it was like a Superman. Belt buckle, I know. Like a yeah, like the belt buckles. Oh man, yeah, Superman belt buckles are. I mean, I I, I bought like a forty dollar Batman. Batman one, and you know, uh, belt buckles are cool. Yeah. So. And for express geekdom. Yeah. Express, express it. Be kind of subtle though. Yeah, subtle. Less is more. Yeah. You know, if you walk around with the Spock ears. You know. Like if you're going to a convention, it's one it's thing. different. It's different. But you know, I've seen some people walk around the mall and I'm just like, you know, it's cool. I might start our conversation, but once again, it's not going past that. Well, anyways, tell us what you think. Tell us, you know, what maybe attracts, you know, what do you find attractive in geeky Girls. women or, or, or guys or whatever? You know, leave us a comment. Tell us, you know, write us, whatever. I'm Katrina. I'm Gina. I'm Christina. And we're the